all right guys so let's check what's under the hood this is the section where we're going to talk about how is react working how is react showing up on our page all right so first of all we got to understand the project folder all right so what we have here is a folder that's already built for you guys to pretty much hit the ground running right now you have everything from SAS to react to go to webpack to ES6 basically everything that you need to start working as far as you know the new modern JavaScript and the new modern web flow of a developer all right right now you don't have to worry about this in the sense of you you don't have to build it from scratch right at some point later on I will show you how to build it from scratch so like that you can understand how to basically change your your build system to however you want it all right so the first thing that we're gonna start with is basically talking about the folders okay so we have assets folder the assets folder holds the JavaScript folder this is where your components are going to be right and then inside of this JavaScript folder for every component like let's say if I'm working on an application I will create a folder for that component all right and then inside of it I will name the component exactly what the folder is all right so that's like the index of of the component right the home of the component okay now then we have SAS of course SAS is just pretty much CSS which has a little extra features to make our lives easier okay then from there we have no modules this is where all the packages that we downloaded remember when we ran npm install all those packages pretty much is like a bunch of libraries put together for us to run everything that we're running right now all right so all those files are are hold are being hold right here being held <laughs> being held uh, right here no modules right now um, basically then we have a public folder the public folder is what the people see the public folder is what the user sees all this stuff is behind the scenes everything that's here is behind the scenes when you go to a website google.com you see the home page of Google but you don't see all the files that are behind the scenes so think about it like that all right so public is where we hold our images public is where we hold our compiled CSS our compiled JavaScript and of course our index page pretty simple okay now let's talk about how is you know JavaScript being compiled how is ES6 being compiled all right so we have gulp right so gulp is a task manager this is what we have as different tasks okay this is where we come in we say okay hey gulp or uh, run watch or what what we did in the beginning which was npm run watch what is actually doing is just saying gulp watch that's it it's nothing too crazy so it's watching every file here and then doing an action depending on when it changes so like let's say if we save a file if we come here and we say first component right let's come here to localhost 3000 let's say we come here and we say uh, 2019 okay we save that you're gonna see that this changes and you can see here on the terminal what's going on if we come here and change it to 20 and we click command s or control s if you're on Windows automatically it's saying okay starting webpack is saving and basically it reloads the page okay all right so that's what's going on with gulp now as far as webpack webpack is basically a module lo module loader basically what it does is it loads the modules for you so basically and you get to have different options to compile it all right 
and we're using Babel something called Babel which compiles our JavaScript from the ES6 which is the new version of JavaScript to the older version that the browser can read all right so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna copy all of this code and I'm going to go to Babel JS okay so let's say right here we're gonna paste this here as you can see what's happening is basically we're saying okay import react import component import from react right and then we say import react DOM from react DOM right now think about it like this basically all of this stuff is ES6 right and this stuff from here to here is called JSX which is JavaScript which is like HTML inside of JavaScript all right so think about it like that. It's pretty simple when we use Babel Babel compiles this code that we have here into regular JavaScript as you can see we basically using a return to say something like this like okay react to default create element div right that's regular JavaScript right create element div and then we passing a class name of home and then inside of it we're saying hey we're creating another div right with a class of a liner and as you can see that's exactly what's going on here right now all of this stuff it can get a little bit complicated but in reality you don't have to understand everything just know that pretty much you have ES6, which is the new JavaScript, and it's being compiled thanks to Babel to basically the old version of JavaScript. Okay, vanilla JavaScript. For now, that's all you need to know. All right. Later on, we will continue and we will come back to this. Right now, there's just like a quick overview of what's going on under the hood. A quick little overview. All right. So think about it like that. We're taking our old, well, the new JavaScript into the old JavaScript, and that's what's being compiled. Now, when we come here to public JavaScript, and then we come to components, you will see a component that says first come. This is the same JavaScript that's here, but in vanilla JavaScript. If we open this up, you can see it's all the vanilla JavaScript here. All right okay guys so now what I want you guys to focus on is on react itself everything else is secondary because you gotta get into the framework and then from there learn as you go the other tools that you need for the framework all right I'll see you guys in the next video and yeah let's get started Joe back at it again man codingface.com listen this whole course right here that you are watching here on YouTube is part of a larger course man it's part of the the big picture guys it's part of the five projects that's gonna get you hired now you guys have seen the video that I created basically going over every single project that you need to build guys if you do this in react pretty much you're you're set right now I'm actually going to take my time I'm going to build all of those five projects for you guys so you guys can build this with me and you can use this for your portfolios guys major websites this is major key guys all right just go to coningface.com register guys subscribe if you guys don't want to wait for this course to somehow be released on YouTube, come to the website. You can watch it right now. You don't have to wait. I'll see you guys later. Bye.